Good morning. Welcome back to my Learn with Tom Lee. We continue with the advanced level of mathematics, the differentiation. And today we will talk about the differentiating the trigonometry functions. Let's say if we have a trigonometry function and we want to differentiate it, you can combine all the above rules and apply them to the trigonometry function to obtain the standard result. What is the above rule? The above rule is the closing rule, the change rule, and the product rule of differentiation. Example one, if you have y equal to tangent x and you want to find the differentiation dy by dx, so it's equal to sine x over cosine x, and let u be sine x and v be cosine x. So du by dx is equal to cosine x, and dv by dx is equal to minus psi x. By the quotient rule, you have dy by dx equal to v du by dx minus u dv by dx over v square. So dy by dx is equal to cosine x multiplied by cosine x and minus psi x multiplied by minus psi x over cosine square x. So you have cosine square x plus psi square x equal to one over cosine square x and the result is equal to secant square x. We see another example. So you can generalize this method to differentiate tangent kx. If y equal to tangent kx, then dy by dx is equal to k secant square kx. We try the differentiation y equal to x tangent 2x. So y equal to x tangent 2x, dy by dx equal to x, 2 secant square 2x plus tangent 2x multiplied by 1. So it's equal to 2x secant square 2x plus tangent 2x. In question B, y equal to tangent x to the power 4. So y equal to tangent x to the power 4. You can write in this form. And dy by dx equal to 4 tangent x to the power 3 multiplied by secant square x and is equal to 4 tangent square x, secant square x. This is the answer. One more example. Show that if y equal to cosecant x, then dy by dx equal to minus cosecant x cotangent x. If y equal to cosecant x, so it's equal to 1 over psi x. And let u equal to 1 and v equal to psi x, du by dx equal to 0 and dv by dx is equal to cosine x. By the quotient rule, you have dy by dx equal to v du by dx minus u dv by dx over v squared. And dy by dx is equal to psi x multiplied by 0 minus 1 multiplied by cosine x over psi squared x. So dy by dx is equal to minus cosine x over psi squared x. And dy by dx is equal to 1 over psi x multiplied by cosine x over psi x. Of course, you have to remember this minus size. So it's equal to minus cosecant x cotangent x. You can also derive from the above example. If y equal to cosecant kx, dy by dx is equal to minus k cosecant kx cotangent kx. And if y equal to secant kx, dy by dx is equal to k secant kx and tangent kx. If y equal to cotangent kx, dy by dx is equal to minus k cosecant kx. We look at one more example. If we want to differentiate a y equal to cosecant 2x over x squared. So y equal to cosecant 2x over x squared, dy by dx is equal to x squared multiplied by minus 2 cosecant 2x cotangent 2x minus cosecant 2x multiplied by 2x over x to the power 4. Equal to minus 2 cosecant 2x multiplied by x cotangent 2x plus 1 over x to the power 3. And in question B, y equal to secant square x. So we write it in this form. And dy by dx is equal to 3 secant square x multiplied by secant x tangent x. So it's equal to 3 secant square x multiplied by tangent x. 
this is the answer. And example 5, we show that the derivative of arc sine x equal to 1 over square root 1 minus x squared. That's y equal to arc size x, so x equal to psi y. And dx by dy equal to cosine y, so dy by dx is the reciprocals of cosine y is equal to 1 over cosine y. And we know that psi square y plus cosine square y equal to 1, so cosine y is equal to square root 1 minus x squared. So we substitute this one into here. We get the dy by dx is equal to 1 over square root 1 minus x squared. So we have put the derivative of arc sine x is equal to 1 over square root 1 minus x squared. And from the above example, you can derive if y equal to arc sine x, dy by dx is equal to 1 over 1 minus x squared y equal to x cosine x dy by dx is equal to minus 1 over square root 1 minus x squared. And if y equal to x tangent x, then dy by dx is equal to 1 over 1 plus x squared. And you can see that in the x tangent, we do not have the square root in here. Example 6, given that y equal to arc size square, find the dy by dx, so we let t equal to x square, then y equal to arc size t, and dt by dx is equal to 2x. So dy by dt is equal to 1 over square root 1 minus t square. So dy by dx is equal to dy by dt multiplied by dx by dt. So we got 2x multiplied by this result here. We got 2x over square root 1 minus t squared. And what is t? t is x squared, so it's 1 minus x to the power 4. This is the result of the dy by dx if y equal to arc sine x to the power squared. After this six example, we can do the exercise question number 7, number 8, number 9, number 10, and number 11. As the previous videos, I have also got you the answer in here, so you can check your answer. And we do have the question trials as well, and the answer as well. So get ready for the exercise. Let's do it. Question 7a, differentiate if y equal to tangent 3x and dy by dx is equal to 3 secant square 3x. And b, if y equal to 4 tangent crib x. So dy by dx is equal to 4 multiplied by 3 tangent square x. And we have to differentiate tangent x as well. So it's multiplied by secant square x. And this is equal to 12 tangent square x secant square x. Question 7c. If y equal to tangent x minus 1 and dy by dx is equal to secant square x minus 1 and we have to differentiate x minus 1 so it's differentiate x minus 1 is equal to 1 so it's multiplied by 1, so it is equal to second square x minus 1. Question 7d. If y equal to x square tangent x over half plus tangent x minus half. And dy by dx is equal to, first of all, we differentiate this one first. We keep the x square and differentiate tangent x minus half we got half secant square x minus x over 2 plus we keep the tangent x over 2 and we differentiate x square we got 2x and we plus differentiate this one we have secant square x minus half so in here we have 
x square over 2 secant square x over 2 plus 2x tangent x over 2 plus secant square x minus half. This is the answer. And question 8a. If y equal to cotangent 4x dy by dx is equal to cotangent 4x is equal to 4 cosecant square 4x but you have to remember the minus sign here so we have minus 4 cosecant square 4x b y equal to secant 5x dy by dx is equal to 5 secant 5x tangent 5x and c y equal to cosecant 4x dy by dx is equal to 4 cosecant 4x cotangent 4x and remember the minus sign and d y equal to secant square 3x dy by dx is equal to 2 secant 3x multiplied by 3 secant 3x tangent 3x so it's equal to 6 secant square 3x tangent 3x question number 9 show that if y equal to secant x then dy by dx equal to secant x tangent x it's a proof question so if y equal to secant x that means y equal to 1 over cosine x and we let u equal to 1 and v equal to cosine x du by dx is equal to 0 and dv by dx is equal to minus psi x of course v square is equal to cosine square x so dy by dx according to the quotient rule we have cosine x multiplied by 0 minus 1 multiplied by minus psi x over cosine square x so this one come to zero so it's zero plus psi x over cosine square x so it's equal to one over cosine x multiplied by psi x over cosine x and this is this one is equal to second so you we have second x multiplied by tangent x proof question number 10 show that if y equal to cotangent x then dy by dx equal to minus cosecant square x so y is equal to cotangent x so it's equal to cosine x over psi x and we let u equal to cosine x du by dx is equal to minus psi x and v equal to psi x dv by dx is equal to cosine x v square is equal to psi square x so by the quotient rule we have dy by dx is equal to psi x multiplied by minus psi x minus cosine x multiplied by cosine x over psi square x so this one is minus psi square x minus cosine square x over psi square x and we take the minus one out we got minus one psi square x 
plus cosine square x over sine square x. And we know that sine square x plus cosine square x equal to 1, so it's minus 1 over sine square x is minus cosecant square x. And we proved. Question 11. Given that the curve C has the equation y equal to arc tangent 2x over x, show that the values of dy by dx when x equal to square root 3 over 2 is 3 square root 3 minus 4 pi over 9. So if we have y equal to arc tangent 2x, I write it in this form over x, and we let u equal to arc tangent 2x and v equal to x, v square equal to x square. And du by dx is equal to 1 over 1 plus 2x to the square multiplied by 2 and dv by dx is equal to 1. By the Cosan rule, dy by dx is equal to, here, x multiplied by 2 over 1 plus 4x squared minus arctangent 2x multiplied by 1 over 3 squared, so it's over x squared. And we multiply the numerator and the denominator by 1 plus 4x squared, we got 2x minus 1 plus 4x squared arctangent 2x over x squared 1 plus 4x squared. And we can rewrite this into 2 over x 1 plus 4x squared minus arctangent 2x over x squared. And if we substitute x equal to square root 3 over 2 into this equation here, we have dy by dx as x equal to square root 3 over 2 is equal to 2 square root 3 over 2, 1 plus 4, 3 over 4 minus arctangent square root 3 over x square is 3 over 4. So we have here 2 over square root 3 over 2 multiplied by this one is 4 minus this one is 4 arctangent minus 1 square root 3 over 3. We have 2 over 2 square root 3 minus arctangent square root 3 is pi over 3, so we got 4 pi over 9. And cancel this out, we got multiply square root 3, we got square root 3 over 3 minus 4 pi over 9. And we have 3 square root 3 minus 4 pi over 9. 9. So we prove that dy by dx is equal to 3 square root 3 minus 4 pi over 9 when x is equal to square root 3 over 2. 11b, we find the equation of the normal as the curve as x equal to square root 3 over 2 and we remember that the curve c is y equal to arctangent 2x over x. So we want to find the normals of this curve as x equal to this point. If x equal to square root 3 over 2, we substitute square root 3 over 2 into here. y is equal to arctangent square root 3 over square root 3 over 2. And this one is pi over 3, so we have pi over 3 over square root 3 over 2, so we have pi over 3 multiplied by 2 over square root 3, and we have 
2 pi over 3 square root 3. And we multiply square root 3 up here, we got 2 square root 3 pi over 9. Okay, this is y equal to this value if x is equal to this value. This is one of the points of the normal. And we know that the slope of the tangent as x equal to square root 3 over 2, the dy by dx, that means the slope is equal to 3 square root 3 minus 4 pi over 9. We prove this from the part A, right? So we know that the slope of the normal at x equal to square root 3 over 2 is minus 1 over this one. So we got is equal to minus 9 over 3 square root 3 minus 4 pi. This is the slope of the normal as this point x and y here. So from the spawn slope form, we got y minus 2 square root 3 pi over 9 equal to 9 over 4 pi minus 3 square root 3 is the slope of the normal and multiplied by x minus square root 3 over 2. And we take everything to the right hand side except y, so we got y equal to 9x over 4 pi minus 3 square root 3 minus 9 square root 3 over 2 times 4 pi minus 3 square root 3 plus 2 pi square root 3 over 9 here. And we expand it out, we got 9 over 4 pi minus 3 square root 3 multiplied by x plus 9 square root 3, this one is 3, 6 square root 3 here, to multiply 2 in 6 square root 3 minus 8 pi plus 2 square root 3 pi over 9. This is the equation of the normal as the point x equal to square root 3 over 2. Question 12, given that x equal to cosecant phi y, find the dy by dx in terms of y. First of all, we find dx by dy is equal to minus 5 cosecant phi y cotangent phi y. This is the dx by dy in terms of y. And we know that dy by dx is equal to 1 over dx by dy. So it's equal to 1 over 5 cosecant phi y cotangent phi y. This is the answer of dy by dx in terms of y. And in part b, we have to find dy by dx in terms of x. We know that dy by dx is equal to 1 over minus 5 cosecant phi y cotangent phi y. And we know that cosecant phi y is equal to x. Cosecant phi y is equal to x from here, equal to x. So this one is equal to x. Cos tangent phi y is equal to cos phi y over psi phi y. And it is equal to cosecant phi y multiplied by cos phi y. And cos phi y is equal to square root 1 minus psi square phi y equal to square root 1 minus 1 over cosecant square phi y. We know that cosecant phi y is x, so cosecant square phi y is x square. So this one is equal to square root 1 minus 1 over x square. And is equal to square root x square minus 1 over x square. So this is the cosine phi y equal to this one, and cosine phi y equal to x. We got dy by dx is equal to 1 over minus 5. 
and cosecant phi y is equal to x, cotangent phi y is equal to square root x squared minus 1 over x squared. And of course, this one can be cancelled out because this is uh, x squared. If we take it inside, so x squared and x squared cancel out, we got 1 over 5 square root x squared minus 1. This is the dy by dx in terms of x here. Okay, if you think this video is good and can help you, please subscribe and give like. So you press the button at the lower right corner to subscribe. And remember, when I have a new videos, you better click the bell shaft and see the new video. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Again, thank you very much for listening to my tutorial videos. And if you need a pilot tutor for you to get a better mark or better score in your DSC examination in Hong Kong, the SAT examination, or just you want to improve your mathematics and English for your college and university study, please contact me at chingtom929 at yahoo.com.hk. My telephone number is plus one eight five two six five nine two eight six zero nine. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want 你可以隨時contact我嘅，令到你個DSC exam啦，或者你想考SAT啦，你亦都可以contact我，因為我都有一啲私人嘅補習喺呢一兩方面嘅。多謝大家，thank you，bye bye，muchas gracias。